greater good, if you will. So I wanted to say that. And with that, we're going to move on to Coach Corn. Good morning, Coach Corn. How are you? What do you got for us? Good morning, everyone. And oh my gosh, I am so excited. Amanda is getting sucked into the superhero world. She's watched her second movie. Yes. And uh, yeah, Jason, uh, um, you know, I know you weren't asking questions and I wasn't talking, but you not being a coach, I think I was just coach this morning. I mean, that was huge. Absolutely huge. So here's my share today. And it's it's really just my personal experience. And hopefully that will help others that are listening. And Don, it started with our homework from the day two challenge of going through this success wheel. Something so simple we all talk about all the time, and here we are in the planning stages of the year and looking at 2022, we print the wheel off and actually go in and fill it in. And so I just realized that time is screaming by so fast. And I mean, you can lose a month, a week, or a week, and then a month, and then you can lose six months, like, and not even realize it, especially towards the end of the year. So looking back and you do your annual plans at the beginning of the year and things change so much, even just within a month or two, and you may have lost focus on those things you were focusing on. So not that it was, I, I didn't learn anything bad. What I learned was where I have lost track of some things that are very important to me. And, you know, I've added new things that new opportunities showed up that felt like I was moving in the direction I was moving and I gave something up. So you know, I looked at my success wheel and heck, I had fun, recreation, love, relationships, social and community are all way up towards the top. And it was, you know, a lot of uh, COVID, re realizing how important relationships are, being with family um, and just relooking at just the human nature and connecting and staying connected and and being plugged in. So I will have to say the success wheel revealed that I did have a fun year and I was with people all year. What I did notice is my business purpose, my spirituality, my growth and learning, which, you know, is why I've been jumping on these challenges and, and, and plugging into this room. My health and fitness, man, I have the most awesome workout room and I was so regimented in that and somewhere where these other opportunities came up, I got knocked off track and... Usually when I would travel to conferences, that was where, you know, I wake up at 5 a.m. every day and I would go down to the gym and work out. And, you know, you're at a three day to five day conference and it would get me back on track every time I went out of town. Well, don't have those as much here over the last couple of years. So I got knocked off track. So thank you for the success wheel and really making that a challenge. It sounds like something simple but it really is not simple. It's very, very important. So I remember uh, Amanda was even saying like the Ritz Carlton in Colorado with the mountains all around me. That's where I sat and did my business plan one year and it was absolutely amazing. So my big takeaway is that when we make these annual plans, it's almost like what we've already said. You, you might need to review those every week, every month, every quarter at six months. And that's where I see that gets faded away and it gets off of our, um, our topic. So it looks like I might have cut out a little bit. I hope we got most of it.